Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are currently staying in Los Angeles for quarantine and apparently privacy has been somewhat of an issue. They've just put up privacy screens around the mansion due to the hiking trails nearby. We know the couple has decided to ditch the royal family and do their own thing, but the house they're isolating in is only a temporary fix. The pair is on the hunt for a home of their own in Los Angeles and with quite the budget. In this video, we'll look at the spots Prince Harry and Meghan have been calling home in LA and Canada and even where they may be moving. We can skip the full background on the couple, but just for refresher, prior to being the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle was an actress known for her role on Suits and Hills from Los Angeles, California, also living in Canada for a long time. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is sixth in line to the throne and he's obviously from England. Their marriage seemed unconventional at first, but nevertheless was a success and became a topic constantly talked about. Meghan retired from acting, closing her social media accounts, and started being an active member of the British royal family once she got in with Harry. The couple also had a son. Despite all this, Prince Harry and Meghan announced they would be stepping back as senior members of the royal family earlier this year and wanted to do their own thing, splitting their time between the UK and North America. The pair has been searching for a permanent place to call home in LA, but their $18 million budget is causing them to take their sweet time. Prince Harry's net worth is an estimated $40 million from his inheritance and family allowance, and Meghan's is $5 million or more from her acting career. The royal family is reportedly worth like $88 billion or something though, so these numbers could be even higher. Hey guys, it's Karen, today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, aka Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are currently holed up for quarantine and places they've been calling home. We also might have some intel on the mansion they want to buy, but I'll get into that a little later. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Adele and Gigi Hadid and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. breaking couple and their one-year-old son Archie decided to spend their quarantine in Los Angeles where they're planning on buying a home rather than the UK. I don't blame them though, I mean the weather's much nicer. There are a few homes nicer than actor Tyler Perry's and we found out that he opened his house up to Harry, Meghan and Archie. It's unsure if they're renting the mansion or staying there as guests, but they've been settled here for over a month now. Allegedly, their mutual friend Oprah set this whole thing up between the couple and Tyler and it all worked out since Tyler isn't using the home right now. By the way, we've done house tours on both Tyler Perry and Oprah, so feel free to check those out if you want to know their luxury living situations. Anyways, the Duke and Duchess's temporary pad sits in Beverly Ridge Estates, an elite guard gated community full of celebs, and the home is worth a whopping $18 million or more. I mean, come on, looking at those aerial views, the place is monstrous. The mansion sits on 22 acres of land on top of a hill overlooking the city. This Titanic house is closer to the size of a shopping mall, and there are actually only 14 lavish homes in the gated Beverly Ridge. Talk about exclusive. Their temporary tusk Tuscan style home is spacious with almost 25,000 square feet of living space inside with 8 beds and 12 baths. Despite breaking free from the royal family, it's clear that not much has changed for the couple in terms of luxury living. The multi-winged home didn't always look this way. Tyler put in a lot of work. Records show the actor acquired the property back in 2004, spending untold millions, likely into the eight figures. From there, he custom built this place, investing even more money and time into it. It was said at one point Kanye West expressed his interest in buying the hillside complex, but that never happened. Tyler has done interviews in this home before, so he's been able to catch a glimpse of how it looks. It has a classic vibe in most of the rooms, plenty of wood accents and features like a movie theater, library, and much more. Although we haven't seen much inside this house, the grounds offer a huge swimming pool and surrounding patio or tanning deck, gardens, grassy lawns, and a huge driveway with center fountain out front. Not only does the high security fortress sit in a 24 hour guard gated enclave, it also has its own driveway gate, multiple security cameras, and a state of the art alarm system. Apparently Tyler even has his own private security team that monitors the premises at all times, making it an ideal spot for the world famous family. But the privacy obsessed Duke and Duchess went even further to ensure their safety. Since the mansion is close to many hiking trails and said trails were recently just reopened, workers were spotted putting up screens the other weekend. Apparently these screens will prevent hikers or paparazzi from snapping pics of their pool area. Harry and Meghan have only been spotted a handful of times since their move to LA, so 
such as when they volunteered for a local charity dropping off food and taking dogs for a walk. A source told Daily Mail that Meghan and Harry have been extremely cautious to keep their base in LA under wraps. Their team helped them choose the location for their transition to Los Angeles wisely. Beverly Ridge is an excellent place to keep out of view. The neighbors are mostly old money and mega rich business types rather than show business gossips. Prior to the move to LA, Prince Harry and Meghan were living in another spot on the west coast, this time in Canada. Meghan lived in Canada for a long time and even I thought she was from here. Who knew? Anyway, since 2019 for almost a year, the high profile couple was living in a mega house on Vancouver Island on the Saanich Inlet of North Saanich, British Columbia. The fam even spent last Christmas here. This French inspired mansion is worth a massive 14.1 million and sits right on the water as part of a gated estate with two private beaches and views across the peninsula. The couple was renting and it's actually owned by a mystery millionaire, Fort Say, a Russian businessman who prefers not to be named. The home sat on four acres of land and came fully furnished for the family to move in easily. Inside, the main house spans 11,416 square feet with five beds and eight baths. There's also a guest cottage spanning over 2,300 square feet that has three beds and two baths. Apparently, Meghan's mom, Doria, also occasionally stayed with them in this rather large guest cottage to help out with her grandson, Archie. The Vancouver Island mansion is known as Mille Fleur in French, meaning thousand flowers, and has a classic, elegant vibe inside. Everything from the beam ceilings, wood accents, fancy chandeliers, and more is definitely grand. According to the previous listing, the mansion offers a two-story living room, state-of-the-art chef's kitchen, large formal dining room, wine tasting room, media room, games room, and more. To fit with the charming Renaissance vibe, there's even a 17th century imported French fireplace. Also on the property, the couple had access to a separate conservatory, a rocky beach for when the weather was warmer, and of course, gated entrance with additional security features. Apparently, the Duke and Duchess had their infamous privacy screens installed at this place too. To the average person like myself, this home looked like an actual castle inside. However, it would seem Harry and Meghan didn't plan on staying in Canada permanently. As for where Prince Harry and Meghan live while they're in the UK, it's known that their residence is the Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. The couple moved here last April before Archie was was born and the property is owned by the Queen. Although they step back as senior members of the royal family, this remains their official family home while in England. When Frogmore Cottage was passed to the Duke and Duchess, they carried out many renovations to modernize it, which cost a few million dollars. Harry and Meghan covered these costs and also agreed to pay running costs and rent moving forward. In terms of the reno, several internal walls were apparently knocked down and the entire place was modernized for the young couple. Reported there are five ensuite bedrooms here, a huge kitchen and diner, a gone with the wind style double staircase and entryway, as well as a yoga room. Prince Harry and Meghan also ordered alcove bookcases to place along the fireplaces and vanity units. Builders were spotted installing chimney liners for log burners and a new eco boiler. The couple also replaced the old windows with childproof ones. Finally, Harry and Meghan decided to create a vegetable plot in the cottage garden in order to grow their own herbs, fruits, and vegetables. I'm sure while they're in LA, they have plenty of staff at the cottage to look after all of that. So now we've seen a glimpse of how Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are living after stepping down from the royal family. But to me, it looks like they're still living quite the luxury lifestyle, so not much has changed. I mean, Tyler Perry's mansion they're spending quarantine in is nothing short of a palace in itself. Like, come on, it's 25,000 square feet. Despite having the Frogmore Cottage to call home whenever they're in the UK, the couple is still searching for the perfect Los Angeles spot to buy. What we do know about their house hunting is that they're willing to spend between 12 and 18 million on the new place, and other sites sit on the west side of Los Angeles. The Duke and Duchess were were caught touring a couple potential places as well. One home they're interested in is a $15 million seven bedroom mansion in Bel Air with a 10 seat movie theater, 200 bottle wine cellar, and something called a computerized rain bar. They're also checking out a Hollywood Hills home costing just shy of 18 million, a $13 million house with full service rooftop deck, and a $17 million house with 800 gallon aquarium and waterfall. It's unclear if Harry and Meghan will end up purchasing any of these options, but it sounds like they know the type of lavish pad they want. One thing's for sure when they decide on one, we'll have to do an updated house tour. Okay guys, I'm gonna read out a few comments from previous bits. On our Gigi Hadid house tour, Maddie Gunning wrote, I like Kara because she's really well spoken and I've been waiting for someone to make a series like this. Thanks so much Maddie, I appreciate the compliment and hope you stick around for many more house tours. And on the same vid, Natalia said, I feel like I just watched these to make myself feel bad watching other people's luxurious lives. Honestly Natalia, I feel the same when I research these homes because some are 
so crazy. And finally, Ethan Berry commented and asked for an Adele house tour. And we actually just recently did one, so check it out if you didn't come across it yet. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for Prince Harry and Meghan's homes. Let me know what you guys think about the places they've been living, like the home in Vancouver, their quarantine mansion, or Frogmore Cottage. Which is your fave? Tell me in the comments down below, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you all in the next vid. Bye!